From LA Late News Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Mornings LA Late. It's a big morning on Mornings LA Late as the auto industry is set to report our earnings next week and will they miss or will they be jump in the live chat auto comma beat or miss plus tech comes in with their corporate earnings for third quarter as well next week a lot to go over as the banks and the credit card companies showed that americans are able to put more debt on the books than ever before that may signal that the stimulus stampede may be coming any moment I'll go over the latest details of what you need to know in today's recording. Massive stimulus and what's all coming up in today's recording. FSC, Federal Stimulus Checks. ISC, Inflation Relief Stimulus Checks. And LSC, Lifetime Stimulus Checks. But good morning, how are you? In today's recording, massive breaking news on this live broadcast. We'll go over two major parts of this economy that got huge updates today. The credit markets, American Express Bank of America is signaling are Americans spending more money than ever before that they don't have? It all impacts your stimulus. It's coming up in today's recording. Then the auto industry set to report for companies next week. Auto, comma, beat or miss, comma, your state. Jump in the live chat. I want you to predict it, and I'll go over the analysis with you in today's recording. Plus, we have tech reporting next week. What a, what a big day it is going to be. But in today's recording, we have federal stimulus checks, FSC, state of the big second half, $300,000 of them, 300 checks. ISC, inflation release stimulus checks, massive monies, and that's coming up in the big second half, a lifetime stimulus checks. Because once your benefits go up, they never go down. Plus, we go over what happened last week and why it's an indication of what's happening in the new week. It's a countdown to Halloween, and in today's afternoon's LA show, we have a special encore edition of a Halloween broadcast. Plus, who stole Halloween coming in that show? But in today's recording, massive stimulus, massive stimulus, and massive news about this economy this week, this month, and for the rest of this year. we got it all coming up in today's morning's broadcast. The toast is toasting, the butter is buttering, and the coffee is brewing. It's all heating up right here, right now. As Morning's LA gets underway for a beautiful brand new day with you and me today. Good morning, everybody. But I hope you have a beautiful day. It is certainly cooler here in Southern California. And for the first time in many months, the windows closed on set because it dropped dramatically. Not dropping is inflation. <laughs> well, the latest details on that in today's recording. Plus, we'll go over that massive series of reports coming in this week after inflation shocked the markets. You need to get to become a member. Go right on this video, become a member, join this channel. And in this recording, we're going to go over some massive stimulus. But first, let's start with the breaking news that tells us why we got to get that stimulus. The breaking news this morning, American Express and Bank of America, credit companies reporting earnings before the close last at the end of the last 48 hours. American Express and Bank of America, do you think they beat it or they miss? Jump in the live chat. They follow a week in which the banks were beating. Bank of, uh, we had a JP Morgan Chase and others major meet, major beats. A beat means when a company comes in and delivers higher on the earnings and the revenue than Wall Street had predicted. A miss means it's lower. For example, we thought it was going to be ten dollars. It came in at eleven. It's a beat. If it came in at seven, it's a miss. So America Express, Bank of America, the credit card companies, basically, what did they report? Beat or miss? Jump in the live chat. If you said beat, you got it right. But here is where it's important for your stimulus to hear the comments from their own CEOs. Here we have the. American Express CEO Stephen Squarey on Friday saying on an earnings call, card member savings at American Express remained at near record levels in this third quarter. We expected the recovery in travel spending to be a tailwind for us, basically a good business, but the strength of the rebound has exceeded our expectations throughout the year. Oh boy, 
That's exactly what you and I have been talking about on this channel for a long time. Over the last few weeks, we've been talking about that people came off of lockdown and are spending like it's water to take trips. Travel and leisure, hotels and airlines are way up because of the rampant spending in the third quarter, which has ended and still underway in the fourth quarter. And you and I have been discussing how you and I both believe that they're putting on the credit card and that they may or may not have the cash to pay for it when it becomes due. Well, American Express confirmed that in minutes ago. They don't confirm whether they have the cash, but they certainly confirmed that the spending on the credit cards is out of control, record levels, because of exactly that point. Travel and leisure, higher than expected. There you go. You got it right again, Purple Power. Then we have Bank of America's CEO, Brian Monahan. He says, analysts may wonder whether the talk of inflation, recession, and other factors could impact the slower spending growth. We just don't see it at Bank of America. Massive spending on credit. And that is why you need to get a forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. This is what we call the stimulus stampede. Because Americans, in a series of new reports, have spent more money on debt than we've ever seen of a generation. Young children, middle age, and elderly people are putting more things on debt, credit, and carrying that debt six months or longer than we've ever seen of a generation, as American Express' CEO said, is record levels. And that is why, when I asked you over the last few months, when do you think that real hurt? When do you think that real hurt of this economy is going to happen? You said January, because you said that's when the spending is going to really kick in even after the holiday season. And they're going to say, oh boy, I need some stimulus. <laughs> and I got for you right now. You're not going to wait for them. You're going to get the stimulus right today by becoming a member. Let's go over those three categories of checks. First, F. SCs, federal stimulus checks, because they're from the Congress, from the President of the United States, passed in the month of March. These are a series of different checks, $300,000 of checks, 300 of them. We're going to go over them. Stay with me. They're in the big second half. Number two, inflation relief stimulus checks from your states. They're great. They're coming up in the big second half. And then lifetime stimulus checks, because once your benefits go up, they never go down. And you're going to learn something you're not going to learn anywhere else about your lifetime stimulus raises in the big second half as well. But let's go back into that breaking news. So the other major story that's happening next week is auto industry. Okay, here we go. You and I have been talking about this on this channel for two months. I've been telling you the auto industry is going to collapse. Why? Because most people buy cars on debt. They don't have $60,000 of cash to buy a car. They, low, they get a car loan. Now, here's something important to remember, and I always forget to remind you because it is very critical. If you bought a car with a car loan last year, when the economy was better, guess what? It's still an adjustable rate loan. And as J-PAL raises rates, the car loan is going to become unaffordable. Now, how about the people who are buying cars are going to buy a car right now? What's going to happen is they go into the dealership. They say, I like that car. I can afford the, I, I, the price is okay. You know, I, I, I've, I've gotten car loans before in the past. I know how they run. And then the, the, the dealer says, here you go. Here's the proposed contract. And here's how much you pay monthly on car loans under the new interest rates. They look down, they say, oh, my God, you scared me. And that's not even Halloween. <laughs> what is that car loan payment? I can't afford that. See you later. And they leave. That data is what's happening right now. So here's something very important for you to understand. And you can see it really on afternoons today at 3 o'clock. Auto reports next week, which is Ford and GM and others. GM going in next week says it's going to be a good third quarter. And one analyst, and I like his commentary, I really do, he says that the numbers may likely be beats, but the downward guidance for the fourth quarter is likely to be abruptly different. Here's a series of different analyst reports coming into tomorrow. Into the next, uh, into tomorrow. RBC Capital Markets analyst Joe Spax says auto sentiment is poor. Higher rates are still higher prices. Lower consumer confidence. A recession. Energy crises. But third quarter reporting this new week will be good. They should be fine numbers. But the downward guidance for the rest of this year should be materially lower. That means that basically, when you see Ford and GM report earnings this new week, expect the numbers to be okay, 
Because remember, here we go, the people who bought the cars last quarter bought it on those older, cheaper interest rates. The people who are going into the dealership now have the higher rates, and, and also the people who now have the car, who own the car now, they're going to be bumped up across the board. Let me explain even more simply. There's a guy, and his name is Jay Powell. He's head of the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve's job is to battle inflation by raising rates. And Jay Powell, here he is, has promised that he will raise rates all the rest of this year, next year, and the year after that. So that means that car you bought last year you think you could afford suddenly starts to become a little bit less affordable. The rate is going up higher. Next year it becomes very unaffordable. And the year after that, hideously unaffordable. That is why you need to get those incredible force stimulus checks in every U.S. state. Imagine what's going to happen to the auto industry. People have these cars and they suddenly can't afford the cars because the interest rates are going through the roof. So what do you think is going to happen with the auto coming tomorrow? A series of companies for auto start reporting third quarter earnings starting tomorrow. Do you think the auto industry will be beat or miss? Jump the live chat. Auto, comma, beat or miss, comma, your state. I'm going to say auto mixed comma California. I think I think SPACs is right. I think most companies will be because they were under the old, the third quarter was before the interest rates got out of control, before they got horrible. And I think some of them maybe slight beats or misses, but um, I, think, I think it'll be a mixed bag. That's my prediction across the board. Here is uh, Raja Gupas, who's at, who's at J.B. Morgan, it says about coming into next week. This sector is not immune from ongoing macroeconomics. And we think that it's going to be, uh, it's going to hit in a mild recession starting next year. Again, he's saying outward, not necessarily the reporter, the quarter coming in tomorrow. Now, this next week also has technology. Technology companies are reporting third quarter earnings next week, and what's important to remember about them is that they are U.S. companies, but they're multinationals. And the U.S. dollar, there you go, that U.S. dollar, is the strongest it's been of a generation. If the dollar's strong and you're overseas, you don't buy that U.S. product because it's too expensive, because your currency is weaker against the dollar. So we expect a series of corporations of the tech sectors to miss in those quarterly earnings next week because the U.S. dollar is so strong and they have so much business overseas. So jump on the live chat. What do you think is going to happen with tech? I think tech is going to be mostly misses, comma, California. I don't think it's going to be a mixed bag. I think it's going to be, well, I mean, it could be anywhere from mixed to mostly misses, but I don't think it's going to be generally mostly beats. And there you go. That is why you do not bet against stimulus. You need to get all these incredible stimulus checks. Let's look at those huge checks, starting with the ones done by this guy, Joseph Biden, the FSC federal stimulus checks. The FSC, FSC federal stimulus checks started with three checks done by the President of the United States in the month of March, and they are absolutely incredible. Those federal stimulus checks mean they come from the federal government, from Congress, from the president, and they're in every U.S. state and territory. The first three checks done by the president of the United States are A, B, and C. And they amount to $100,000 done by executive action by the president of the United States in the month of March. They're huge. Viewers have been getting them ever since. Go on in this video, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino, VIP. Then came along more checks. Congress passed a series of bills that established checks E through K. That brought us to hundreds of checks, and I'm going to go over. I'll be going over all these checks in the big second half. Then I found you L and M, N and O, P and Q. That brought us to even more checks than three hundred thousand dollars of FSC checks. They're coming up in the big second half as well. But first, let's go over some of these initial checks A, B, and C right now and understand how they work, what they are, and how you get them. Check A is $6,500 to $12,000, a forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. And there are a couple $150,000 less, go get it. And if you're on benefits, go get it as well. This is the check that Spelly got. How do you get it? You go into this video, you become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. What are you watching? <laughs> what is this? This is LLA. America's number three most watched financial news channel in America with three broadcasting channels and the fastest and the most successful brand new channel launch since this channel launched in 2020. 
In 2020, this channel launched with one channel and became one of the most successful brand new broadcasters on YouTube. But now it's three channels, LA1, LA2, and LA3, delivering 24 hours a day, seven days a week, the most comprehensive financial news you can see anywhere in the American landscape. With viewers walking away holding $50 million in the last two years. No channel, no broadcaster can report that they've gotten viewers $50 million except LA Light. Congratulations to the nearly 100 new members joining this channel every 48 hours. Go write on this video, become a member, and get that incredible newsletter from LA1, LA2, or LA3 Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Let's go down into check B. After you get check A, you want to go then get check B. It's right there in the membership newsletter after check A. Go out of this video, become a member, and go down to check B, $15,000 to $80,000. It's a four symbol check in every U.S. state. We have wonderful viewers who, for just a few dollars, remember, it's just a few dollars to become a member, for just a few dollars becoming a member, walked away with $80,000 in less than 30 days. Why would you not become a member? We have two viewers out of Florida who got 8,100 checks in just less than 30 days. That's thousands of dollars. Go down this video, become a member. Get check B. Click the link and go right and apply. You're not done there yet. You're going to go get check C. Check C is for rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, and more. Become a member. Go down the membership newsletter. You find check C. And it tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. Promise me two things. First, you'll stay in the big second half because we still have more checks coming up, lots of checks. And number two, when you do check C, you reach out to all 12 places. You're going to get a no, but you're also going to get a yes. In the membership newsletter, it shows you 12 places to reach out for check C. Check B and check C. Viewers are averaging 80, 18 months of checks. 18 months of checks, and they're averaging five checks a month. Rent and utilities or mortgage and utilities, and that's 80 plus checks. But in the case of check C, you got 12 places to reach out for those incredible checks. That's why you want to become a member. And let's look at the incredible success stories that viewers have gotten from this channel by becoming a member. Let's look at what other people have gotten for these checks. Here you go. Do you want $30,000 of rent? Go get check C. Do you want $15,000 of utilities? That's what Mark's brother-in-law got. Same brother-in-law walked away with a quarter million dollars a snap over the next 10 years because he became a member. Combinations of checks, Mark is at 32000 he went to 166000 Imagine you pay a few dollars and you walk away with $166,000. Where else can you get that return on your money anywhere in this U.S. economy? Here is Nisi. She was at 32000 She went to 50000 Here's Lorraine. And she went from 105000 to $155,000. Dragon, longtime viewer, triple member, and volunteer of this channel. She was at 140000 She's at 170000 We have Johnny, who have 20 friends and neighbors, get $200,000. The success can be yours. Go around this video, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Paracast, you know, VIP. And in the big second half, we'll continue with all these incredible checks one at a time. But let's jump back in the breaking news. So this is interesting. You got this right. You and I had problems sort of guessing how much debt Americans can put on their credit card. We really still don't know. And we really don't know how much cash they have in the bank to pay for the debt. But you and I had said that they are going to spend, spend, spend on travel and leisure, hotel and airlines throughout the rest of this year, and they're going to put it on the credit card. They have. We got it right. And that is why American Express was a beat. American Express was a beat. And I got to tell you, I expect them to be a beat in the fourth quarter as well. People are raising their debt levels as the CEO of America's Best, Square, he said, to near record levels, whether they have the cash to pay for that debt or not. Then, when we go over to auto, I believe that the auto industry will be a mixed bag this next week, but the downward guy is going to absolutely happen. The crash in the auto market is coming around the corner. Now, housing is one of the most confusing parts of the economy, which I really debuted in a new analysis two days ago on this channel, but I want to explain it more for the first time ever on Mornings Out Light. This is what's going to happen to the housing market in the recession of 2022 and 2023 and 2024. It's going to be a different type of housing recession than the last one. In the last housing recession, it could be summarized as the inventory built up 
and then the homes didn't sell and they went to foreclosure. What happened? One house in the market, 100 houses in the market, 1,000 houses in the market, people can't sell the homes, they go to foreclosure, the market collapses. Pretty simple. Inventory built up, the market fell apart. This time, not going to be that pattern. Totally different pattern. You're hearing this for the first time on Mornings LA. What you're going to see is the prices collapse just because. The homeowners who currently own their home have owned their homes generally for more than six months. Most people have owned it for more than a year. So guess what? They have the great mortgage rates, the low mortgage rates, the 3%, the 2%. They are looking to sell their home this week. And they look and they say, you know what? We could get a good dollar. We could get a great price if we sell the home. But then they look at the mortgage rate. Oh, we're not going to sell the home. Here's what you need to remember. When you sell the home and you move to a new home, the new home has a brand new mortgage, the current mortgage rate. 7% practically. No one can afford a 7% mortgage rate. So people will not sell their homes in this economy. They will stay in their homes because they cannot afford the new mortgage rate. That results in less inventory. Well, wait a second. Less inventory, that's sort of like gasoline. If there's less gasoline, the price goes higher, right? If there's less homes, the price goes higher, right? No, because it's offset by what's happening with the buyer side. The buyers coming to look for homes there's less buyers because less buyers can afford a 7% mortgage. So you're going to have less buyers, less inventory. It's going to balance against, and it's going to ultimately drive the prices down. It's a different type of housing market crash than the prior one, and that's why you watch this channel. The other reason you watch this channel is the big second half, because in the big second half, we have massive stimulus coming up for you. The continuation of the FSCs, the continuation of the ISCs, and the continuation of the lifetime stimulus checks. Plus, I'll give you guidance on what's happening for the rest of today, big shows across the board, and lots of breaking news, brand new details as well. We're just getting started as the toast is toast, and the butter is butter, and the bacon's missing, but I'll see you back in 60 seconds as Morning Ally continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings at 8 at 9 a.m. Home LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Light. And the excitement continues on a big morning's broadcast from the shores of Santa Monica, California, where it's considerably cooler. The weather has finally dropped. That heat wave is gone, and the winter weather is here finally in Southern California. I'll be talking about that more this afternoon on Afternoons LA. But let's jump into that incredible stimulus. And I have a success story I see in the live chat from one viewer coming up in just a second. After the President of the United States passed the first three checks, A, B, and C, then came around Congress that did checks E through K. And let's look at those incredible checks E through K starting right now. Check E is a wonderful $7,500 incredible check. Now, we learned a little bit about this check a week ago today that when you do check E, you want to do it in a year in which you can get the whole check. If you only get a part of the check, you can't get the residual in another year. Stimulus F, $4,000, incredible. Then we have Stimulus G, 30% off, wow. Stimulus H, $2,000, huge. I, $8,000, just great. 
Then we go to J, $8,000. K, $14,000. That is insane. We continue now with the FSC checks. More of them. Again, these are checks from the federal government. Stimulus L, $100,000 on average of loan interest free money. Huge. And M, $4,000 of free grant money. Just great. Then we go to Stimulus N. Stimulus N, which is $100 towards a brand new computer, tablet, or laptop, and brand new free internet. And congratulations to one viewer who is in the live chat right now. His name is John Maloof. Just absolutely incredible. John Maloof is in the live chat, and he just revealed in this live show that he got Stimulus N. He got a brand new tablet and i bet he is just absolutely incredible i've been telling you for a long time i love stimulus n it is a great program hundred dollars towards a participating provider for a brand new computer tablet or laptop i love it because most tablets are less than hundred dollars and he must be through the roof uh everyone loves a brand new tablet because when they give you the tablets it's you know it's the latest operating system or the latest chips so this is not like an old product just absolutely wonderful. Congratulations to John Maloof, who is a member, who is in the live chat, and is now holding or receiving or getting in the mail a $100 tablet for becoming a member for just a few dollars. That's how this channel pays off, folks. That's how this channel pays off. Stimulus out. Zero down payment, zero closing costs, and zero credit check and zero um, insurance for a brand new home and then stimulus p and stimulus q p is three percent down and q is eight thousand dollars of closing costs great those are your f s c checks now let's recap and let's learn a little bit more about them first fsc so they're from the federal government congress the president of the united states and that means they're for you every u.s state every u.s territory number two larger check a hundred thousand dollars smallest check eight thousand dollars Fastest routing time, two days. Johnny started on Monday. By Wednesday, he had $45,000. By the end of the week, he had 80000 from 15 applications and half of them approved. He helped his two mom and dad the next week, 50000 each, and then he helped his 20 neighbors get $200,000. The type of checks, something for everything. We have the tablet like John got. We have the home repairs. The live show that ended about an hour ago or half an hour ago, one person was in the live show. I can't remember if it was a she or he, but the person got check A, the weatherizing grant. She was through the roof. I was so happy for her this beautiful morning to see her excitement about getting the weatherizing. For the home, we got the weatherizing. We have the appliances. It's getting cold. You may need a new furnace or a new heater. The refrigerator, the heat, the washer dryer, um, the tablet, the computer, the internet, um, and then we have rent, mortgage assistance, and then we have stuff for the car. It's just absolutely incredible. It's absolutely incredible. And those are your FSC checks, $300,000 of them, checks A through Q. Now, along the way, we also have some inflation relief stimulus checks. You always want to do the FSC checks first because they're the biggest amount of money. You're going to need big sums of money for this recession. But the inflation relief stimulus checks are great. $1,000 on average. Number one, number two, from your state. Direct deposit, otherwise, in the mail. How do you find them? You become a member down the membership newsletter. Check D, D like donut. You click it, it opens it up. It lists the state, the amount of the check, and to track it and more about it. It's great, it's about $1,000. Again, do the FSC checks first, because those are tens of thousands of dollars, and then do the L then watch the uh, ISC checks thereafter. But let's jump in those lifetime stimulus checks, because no one anywhere is explaining to you the incredible great news that is behind these lifetime stimulus checks. I'm going to explain it for the first time very, very slowly in detail on this broadcast by using an analogous, because analogy, the analogy is a skyscraper and an elevator. Let's go over that analogy right now. And I'm going to put you on the first floor of the skyscraper, the lobby. Okay, you ready? You're in the lobby of the skyscraper and it's two years ago. Two years ago, and last year, you got a 5.9% raise for your benefits. This is you if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Royal Web. It's 5.9% raise two years ago. So you went from the lobby to the first floor with that 5.9% raise last year. Then you learned on this channel on October 13th, your benefits are going up at 8.7%. 
So you're going from the first floor. Excuse me. You went from the first. We went from the lobby to the first floor. I'm caught. <laughs> you know why I always mess this up? Because the first floor is really the second floor. Okay, the mezzanine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait a second. I, the first, no. Okay, either we call the first floor the lobby or we, <laughs> let's start over. You st <laughs> you're in the lobby, which is also called the first floor. <laughs> you got the race of 5.9%, which brought you to the second floor. Okay, now we got it going. Uh, so <laughs> October 13th, this year, you got that 8.7% raise, which brings you to the second floor. Uh, which brings you to, oh God, I messed it up again. <laughs> it brings you up another floor, 8.7%. Well, guess what happens? Jay Powell has made very clear that there is going to be inflation next year. That's going to raise you up another floor. And the year after that, it's going to raise you up another floor. So in these periods of time, you're going to go from the lobby to the first, to the second, to the third, and to the fourth floor. I got it. To the fourth floor, your benefits are going to keep on going up to that fourth floor. Your benefits are going to keep on going up to that floor floor by year four. Now, what's going to happen by year four? Here's where it gets great. Your products, your buying, your milk and the eggs are going to fall from where they are right now at the fourth floor all the way to the basement. So suddenly you're going to see the check you're getting in the mail for benefits going higher, higher, higher. And when you go to the market to spend it, it's going to get more bang for the buck because the milk and eggs is going to go down, down, down over four years. Yes, for the first time ever, you're going to be head of the mall game with a bigger check and less price of goods at the market. Now, the other part of this equation that's also great news is that Congress passed that great bill so that the benefits check will not be eaten up by Medicare Plan B or Plan C costs. That benefits check will be all for you to keep. There you go. Lifetime stimulus checks, inflation related stimulus checks, and FSC checks. And with that, here comes my commentary right today. Yesterday, I went to a market, and that market is a market that I love to patronize because it's cheaper prices. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I go maybe once a week or once every two weeks. And here's what happened last night. Jump in the live chat and tell me, oh my God, or not, oh my God. <laughs> this is what happened. Two weeks ago, I was there, and they have two loaves of bread that I always buy, and they're usually both $349. Two weeks ago, one of the breads went from $349 to $449, and the other loaf of bread went from $349 to $599. Obviously, I didn't buy the $599 bread. And I said, well, okay, at least the other one's only $499. I got the $499 bread. Last night, I was back there again, and guess what happened? Well, they don't have that $5.99 bread anymore because no one will pay $6 for a loaf of bread. But the $3.49 bread from two weeks ago that became $4.49 last week became $5.99 last night. Excuse me? In two weeks, one loaf of bread, which is a basic bread that has no real special ingredients in it, went from $3.49 to $5.99. Is that an OMG? Write in the live chat if you think it is. Come to your state. Here's another example. They sell a, in a, almost like a soda bottle, lemon, pure lemon juice. I've been buying it for many, many years. It's always 99 cents. It's always 99 cents. In fact, they have two or three brands that are 99 cents. So last night I looked at it. I'm like, oh, yeah, maybe I should buy another bottle of that lemon juice. Jump in the live chat. What do you think that lemon juice was last night? Now, understand, this is recording in October. You're watching recording in October when inflation is perceived to perhaps peaked. That per, in fact, some people think that inflation has peaked and is coming back down. What do you think that lemon juice, pure lemon juice, which was 99 cents for as long as I can remember for many, many years, what do you believe that price was? If you said 159, you got it wrong. You said 199, you got it wrong. It was nearly $3. 249, 269. Shocking? Yes. This is really what's going on, is that the inflation is happening, perhaps not happening because it needs to, but because they think they can get the price from you. My analysis, there's nothing that happened for that lemon juice to go from 99 cents to 249 in two weeks. They just think they can get it from you, and they're trying their best. Was the market empty? Yes. Were people buying? No. Was the 
$4 bread moving, the $5 bread moving. No, no, no. And I've seen this over the last few weeks when products that should be 2 or $3, suddenly are 6 or $7, they're not selling. And the consumer is not buying. A series of new reports, which I'll feature tomorrow on Mornings at Late, feature what's called demand destruction. Here's a new term you've never heard before on this channel. What is demand destruction? When you raise the price, you destroy the demand. And suddenly the consumer is not buying. And what happens is that if a buyer does not buy the product, they may adjust their lifestyle so they say, I don't really need that product in my life anymore. And so when you bring the price back down maybe two months from now, they don't come back because they said, you know, I really didn't need that product anymore. Me? I don't need that lemon juice for $3 a bottle. I can do without it. I will go without that lemon juice and I'll forget about it. And if the price drops, I won't look for it because I won't be shopping in that aisle for that lemon juice ever again. That's my destruction of my demand for that product. You brought the price from 99 cents to 240, 250, to almost $3. You destroyed my demand for the product. I'm turned off. I'm not coming back to look for that product again. And even if it gets cheaper, I won't be there buying it. That's what demand destruction is. And that ultimately is one of the big issues across the board. Coming up today, we have a special afternoon's edition of Afternoon's L8 of Holidays. I want you to tune into that. If you love the holidays, you'll see a special commentary about who killed Halloween. Yes, it's a special commentary, the final three minutes of that three o'clock afternoon's edition, special edition of Holidays LA. And then we have an Evens LA as well. Meantime, if you're wondering what we got on set, yes, we've been talking about this for a while. I told you right before the holiday season, I would have the orange flowers. They've been in uh, in a cool zone uh, because of that horrible heat wave we had. Look how great they look. They, they came out um, great. And then the yellow ones are brand new as well. So in the background, what are brand new today? Well, in the background, brand new today, we have some chrysanthemums, um, and they are the beautiful yellow ones in the in the in the background. And the foreground, we have a big cluster of very different covers of Clanico. I know I'm butchering that. Clanico. Cl cl we got we got yellow. We got some orange, and we got some purple. The color the camera has a little bit of a filter on it, so the orange looks a little bit more red than it does. And uh, on the later, sh as the sun comes up, you'll see the differentiations of the colors uh, more across the board. Congratulations to John for getting that great stimulus N. Your day is today to be to have that success story as well. Join this channel. Go on this video, become a member. Join LA1, LA2, or LA3. Get that incredible membership newsletter from me to you Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Time zone check. What time zone are you in? Pacific Standard Time is here in Los Angeles. That's 7 o'clock when the membership newsletter is delivered. Are you on the East Coast? New York and New Jersey, Delaware, Georgia? Your 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. That's when the newsletter is delivered to you. Are you the Midwest, like, New York, like Missouri or Illinois? You are Central Standard Time. So you get the newsletter at 9 o'clock Central Standard Time. And are you mountain? Well, then, if you're Arizona, for example, you get that newsletter at 8 o'clock Mountain Time, MT. From the shores of San Marco, California, thank you for joining me on a beautiful morning. I like to see me all throughout the day with brand new shows and that live show as well. Thank you for your great commentary and your great predictions on those earnings calls. We'll see what happens with the auto, and we'll see what happens with tech as they report corporate earnings next week. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful day, and stay with LA for more.